had worked in a lot of different areas of music and um, mostly in songwriting and arranging and knew that I wanted to work in film and film composing and also to plug more into the Australian industry because I did my undergrad in the US so wanted to build more of those connections here. I had done maybe one short film, actually no, two short films before, both of which were horrible. But I remember thinking that it was something that I really, really, really enjoyed. After like Googling and researching for like a good year, I um, sort of worked out it was the only place that I could study to do what I wanted to do here in Australia. So um, yeah, I moved to Sydney to do it, which is fun. Well, I actually didn't really know too much about the whole capstone process or that we'd be working on quite a lot of films. Didn't have any idea about that. And I think that was an amazing surprise, I suppose, to know that, okay, like we're gonna be, yes, doing the academic side of writing exegesis, but also we're doing that through working on these projects. And it's not just gonna be a bunch of essays or a bunch of arranging assignments. It's gonna be working on these films and we want these films to, you know, go out to the world and be in festivals. For me, I didn't realise it was like that, but I was so glad it was. Because it is a master's, there is an academic side to it. And I think sometimes that can be the one that can trip up people because they're not really expecting it to be so academic. The practicality of the course was something that really blew me away, to be honest. Um, even so early on in first year, working like straight away in the first few weeks, being hands on and doing stuff, doing work, making music, making films was so, so cool. I thought I had made a mistake. I suffered from a big case of imposter syndrome because I was with three other talented, incredible composers and I couldn't help but compare myself to them. And so I really started to fall into that negative spiral. And I remember having a meeting with Cameron and I was saying to him, look, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this course. Like, I just feel like I'm not as equipped as everyone else. And then Cameron said to me, we wouldn't have picked you if you didn't have something special to offer. With Cam and my experience with the, um, the, the music staff here, it was just like incredible, like wrapped up between educating incredibly well and also having like real world actual experience um, was super, super cool. I felt honestly like at times that I could just email him at any time with any question that I had, be it important or not. And I know that he would answer, um, which, was, which was really great. It was a really, comfortable experience. I never felt like I was overstepping in terms of the questions that I was asking or what help I needed. I guess the investment in your skill and craft is really important and um, if anything that's worth trying and and working on your craft and and working on those tools that Yes, we can um, get other places, but they're kind of focused when you're studying and that's something at least I love. I think being able to sort of section off your brain into now I'm working on this and this is what I'm doing. Now I'm working on this and this is what I'm doing. So everything is still existing in there, but it's not all going at the same time. Because so I think had that been the case where I was just thinking about different things constantly, I would have gone insane or like more so than I am now. But it was being able to be like, okay, I've got three hours now, I'm going to do my exegesis work. That's fine, that three hours is done. I'm going back on to doing music stuff now. That three hours is done, I'm going to be asleep or whatever. I think the creative person that comes out the other side of doing the masters and afters is so much more well-rounded um, as a creative and especially for me, like musically, it's not so much that, oh, I can do music for film, it's music for screen, which is the broadest kind of sort of thing. We've definitely had some amazing times coming up with ideas for films and 
late night hangs just talking about amazing things for arts and film and music and all those sorts of things. You think that there's going to be moments like that where it's just like, oh, this is, this is cool, this is like movie magic, blah, but then it's like, it actually is. It's stupid, but it's like, so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm.